Today on Handy Dad TV, I'm going to show you how to mount that headboard onto the wall using toggle bolts. Coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and today we're going to hang this headboard on my wall. And I don't really like, especially for a king size bed like this, I don't like putting the headboard attached to the bed. It's just, it doesn't fit well. I'll show you why. All right, looking down here next to the side of the bed, you can see that the bracket is missing from this bed. But if it was there, it would hold the bed a few inches back from the headboard, which would cause pillows and things like that to fall behind it. And so we really don't like that. We like having the bed tight against the headboard so that there's no space. And I just use the legs on the headboard to support it on the ground. I just want to hold it against the wall. And I'm going to use the holes in it to do that. Now this is a standard toggle bolt out of the out of the bag. Now it's it's long, but they come in different sizes. And the way this works is you drill a hole in the wall that's big enough to fit this the wings here collapsed and they're spring loaded. So when it gets in the wall, they pop open. And then you can tighten this screw down as far as you need it to. So you could take that, put it through here into the wall and then tighten that down. The trouble is if you ever wanted to remove it, when you unscrew this, the wings drop in the wall. You'll never get them back. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use the screw backwards and put that into the wall. Then I'm going to have this big fender washer here with a nut. And that's going to squeeze the wall right here where my finger is. That's where the wall's going to be. Then I'm going to tighten this nut down with that washer and hold it against the wall. And this will then protrude and I'll be able to put the other nut and washer behind the headboard. That's what will hold the headboard to the wall. So it's a little bit of a different uh, approach than you've seen other videos on YouTube do. So you see this frame coming out from the back of the bed. If I put the bracket on that that goes with it, you can see how it would hold the headboard far away from the mattress. And, and that distance is what we are trying to avoid here. So I pulled the bed away from the wall and I put some masking tape on both sides just to show I was a reference point that's where I want the um, the headboard to be centered the other thing I needed to do was use a stud finder just to make sure that I wasn't going to have a stud directly behind where I wanted to put the anchor if there happened to be a stud directly behind I wouldn't use this wall anchor I would use some kind of a bolt and go right into the wood that would of course be even stronger but the stud is right next to this heating vent right here so I should be okay now I'm gonna do is just use a pencil push through the hole to mark where I need to put the anchor so this anchor requires a 5 8 inch drill bit and the only 5 8 inch drill bit I have it's pretty big so I have a spade bit so I don't want to just use that right on the wallpaper I did put some blue tape over it and I can still see my pencil mark underneath it which is where I'm gonna drill the hole Not too bad. It's not going to be seen anyway. Now to put this in the wall, you just collapse it like this and push it through the hole. And I have a socket with me and a socket wrench, but I'm not going to use the wrench. I'm just going to hand tighten. Now the good thing about this approach is that is sticking out pretty far, farther than than here and if that bothers you there's two things you can do you can use a Dremel to cut it off afterwards or you can push this screw a little further into the wall and that's what I'm gonna do that should be fine Just need it snug. I don't want to pull too hard on the sheetrock or it will actually remove it. You know, it'll pull it off the studs. Okay, both of them are installed. 
and the headboard is positioned exactly where I want it, back where my blue tape is on both sides. And it is snug. I'm trying, I'm pulling on it right now. And although it's just held at the bottom, it's wedged against the baseboard. So it's leaning back against the wall just a tad, but it's nice and snug. This is a really good solution. Okay, now you can see down here, the bolt just protrudes a little bit, but it is certainly not in the way at all. It's not gonna damage the, the bed or the mattress or anything like that. And there is the finished product. All done, looks great. If you missed my videos on how to install the wallpaper or the entire bathroom remodel that went on here, that's what caused us to redo this, this bedroom. If you missed these videos, I will link to those in the description below. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.